like. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, he's on! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Sugar Rashad Evans! Herb Dean, our referee ready, for this ready. one. Ready, good. All right, here's the five-tool player and former UFC champion, Sugar Rashad Evans, ready to go for round one. Now, his career began with three consecutive first-round finishes, only one since. That came against Chael Sonnen at UFC 167. Rashad Evans, undeniably a finisher, but more often than not, they come in the latter rounds. We'll see what kind of start he gets off to tonight. He's able to block the punch there. with the straight right. Only round one action here, and just like that, he gets him to the ground. Feels like a pretty significant moment here, early champ. I mean, it's no secret what this guy wants to do. This guy wants to take you down, and he wants to grind you out. He got the takedown early. Let's see how long he can control this position and what amount of damage can he inflict on his opponent. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Nicely done. Oh, he's got his back. He's got to get him in the air to try to return him to the match. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So you get it all back. back to the feet. Seconds now to go in the round. All right, he's been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight, and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed you. Yeah, it's very impressive to see him pop the jab, pop the right hand, just touch, 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 and then boom, sit down on that hook. He's going to be trying to find it again. You can see him setting up his opponent, trying to get the hands to drop so he can drop that hook over the top. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he can cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. That's how you control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. 15 seconds. So the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot, and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. All right, let's get to round two. Oh, nice straight there by Emilian Echo. Good punch.
unable to connect with the weapon. Emelianenko's got him stacked up here. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Evans is in half guard now. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Emelianenko's got him stacked up here. There it is, now he's going to mount. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Emelianenko. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Fedor's right back to the full mount. Making all these shots count. <laughs> Evans is in half guard. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Evans' forehead is bleeding now. Cut just opened up. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Trying to finish this fight! Oh! Under two minutes here to go round two. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Fatal. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Oh, what a moment there as they make... Oh, there it is again. Look at that. He might get the TKO here. Oh, strong reversal on the ground here. Oh, it's getting tight. So the blood really starting to flow every time that area gets targeted. That cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching for it. Whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Big power shots landing. Staying offensive off of his back as he lands a strike from the bottom position. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he Ready wants to get the desired finish. Ready. Third Ready. round underway. And he blocks the shot there. He's cut. Get the elbow. It's back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight. But now, as this one... Oh! oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? And mixes in a takedown. Right now. to go in round three. Fight back! While landing Fight back. several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Evans. Ground and pound strike there now. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. 
All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This feet. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Well, he just missed on another strike there. He has not been efficient with his attack here tonight. And oh, he hurt. He's hurt. Oh, big left. Big shot to the body. Evans' eye appears to be closing up by the set. Under 20 seconds now to go. Oh my goodness! What a fight! So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer now. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 51 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Hazel! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight.